Hey guys, so now that we're approaching the end of August, I'll give you guys a little bit of a recap of what we've seen and what we're going to see. So over the, the last week or so, what we've seen is the market continue to kind of be a little bit slower than what we saw in the spring. Well, considerably slower than what we saw in the spring. Homes are still moving. Are homes going into bidding wars and over asking price? Not so much. You are still seeing the occasional one set up that way in which the seller is holding offers in order to try to get a bidding war, but it doesn't always work. It's just not as predictable as what it might have been in the springtime. So homes are still selling. We are seeing conditions getting put into an offer. So conditional upon the buyer doing their home inspection, conditional upon the buyer getting their financing in, 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 uh, in the offer as well. And then the other one is, of course, the buyer, if they have a house to sell, making that a condition before they commit to buying the new one, meaning they have to sell this one. And as soon as they sell that one, they can now waive the condition on the new home that they're purchasing. That home sale condition for the buyer is a very safe condition. We're seeing many homes um, going into a conditionally offer uh, accepted status with that condition. So we are still seeing that. Now, what we have coming up in September is we're going to be kind of launching into the fall market, you will see many homes hit the market. You'll see many buyers return to the market. Many of those buyers have been absent over the past couple of months because they've been on vacation or just taking advantage of cottage country and just travel. Many of them now are going to be returning to the market in the coming weeks simply because back to school and everybody goes back to a normal life. So when they go back to a normal life, one of the things that they actively do is they go online and they, they look at houses, they look for real estate. And then of course, if they find something they like, they eventually bring their home to the market and the whole cycle kind of starts up again. So I do believe whether the interest rates drop in September or not, I do believe that September, October, November is going to represent a busier market. Perhaps maybe not the speed and the dollars that somebody may get in the springtime, but it's certainly going to be a busier time. Can we predict the future? No. Can we look at trends based on what we've seen historically? Absolutely. We are following very much last year's trends, which uh, gave us a bit of a bump in the fall market. If you are a buyer, fall is going to give you options, but fall is also going to bring you competition. So you may just say, well, I'm going to wait until December, January until you know, other buyers are out of the market simply because we're kind of getting to the end of the year and you're perfectly welcome to do so. But the only thing you have to keep in mind is the next home that you're looking for, the amount of inventory will likely drop off as well. So yes, you can get a great deal, but you may get a great deal on the wrong house. So I would say don't try to time the market based it on is this the right house for me or is this not the right house for me? Those should ultimately be the the decision-making factors versus timing the market. Anyways, that's the last week. That's what's upcoming. I'll keep you guys posted next week or the week after that. The stats will come out, but uh, get prepared for a busy fall. See you guys.